Hey, welcome back to Kids First TV. I'm Pastor Kevin. Thank you for joining us for episode number three. So if you're ready, we've got five minutes before we get started. Are you ready? Get set and go.
Hey, Pastor Kevin here. Thank you so much for joining us for Kid First TV, episode number three. David, this is an amazing day. That's right. And just the, the beauty of it, we decided that we're going to take ourselves a hike. We're going to see what we can find, enjoy nature, enjoy the outdoors. So um, are you ready to get started? I am. We have everything we need? Yep, we okay. do. Okay, so it sounds like a plan. So what we're going to do as we get started, you check out this song, and we'll talk to you in just a bit. You ready to go? Let's, Let's go. go. Hebrews 4.12. For the Word of God is alive and active. Traits even to dividing soul and spirit joints and marrow. Hebrews 4:12. For the word of God is alive and active. For the word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul. Judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Four twelve for the word of God is alive and active. For the word of God is alive and active. Sharper than any double edged sword, it penetrates even to the Hey, David, I saw something. Oh, hey, what? check it out. Look, 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 look. What is it? All right, see this? This is like some petrified wood. Petrol it's wood? Petrified. Who? Yeah, petrified. It, it, really old. It's just really old. So, uh, there's a lot of character in this, but take a look right there. Oh, ah! snake, snake. Ah! Oh, whoa, whoa. So what's the big idea for today? I'm glad that you asked. Let's take a closer look. The big idea today is the power of God's Word. There's nothing stronger, there's nothing more mighty, and nothing more precious than the Word of God. Everything we need to know in life are within these pages. Today we're going to take a deeper look at the power of God's Word. Get ready, it's going to be awesome! I love it because it's yummy, yummy, yummy. But there's something that's really, really sweet like honey. God's Word is sweeter than honey, worth a lot more than a barrel full of money. In fact, it is a bare necessity. Each word is a sweet little bittle, tastes so good it satisfies the middle. In fact, it is a perfect book for me. God's word is sweeter than honey, worth a lot more than a barrel full of money. In fact, it is a bare necessity. Each word is a sweet little vittle, tastes so good it satisfies the middle. In fact, it is a perfect book for me. Just like the hummingbird that loves a nectar tree. But nothing can compare to the love you have for me. God's Word 
is sweeter than honey and worth a lot more than a barrel full of money. In fact, it is a bare necessity. Each word is a sweet little vittle. Tastes so good it satisfies the middle. In fact, it is a perfect book for me. Come on, sing along. God's word is sweeter than honey. Worth a lot more than a barrel full of money. In fact, it is a bare necessity. Each word is a sweet little vittle. Tastes so good it satisfies the middle. In fact, it is a perfect book for me. God's word is sweeter than honey. Worth a lot more than a barrel full of money. In fact, it is a bare necessity. Each word is a sweet little vittle. Tastes so good it satisfies the middle. In fact, it is a perfect book for me. Every word of the Bible is sweet, boys and girls. Just like a honey. Get it in your heart. Come on, kids. Stay in the word. Captain Commandment here, bringing you the big idea. 2 Timothy 3, 16. And it goes like this. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking. Hey, young man, we don't throw trash down like that. Come here, let me talk to you. Correcting. Less time on the phone, more time with Jesus. And training. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up. In righteousness. 2 Timothy 3, 16. I am Captain Commandment, and this is The Big Idea. And it's game time, so I'm challenging you. What are we doing today? The cup challenge. So right now, I'm gonna give you one minute. Go grab some cups you have at your house. They can be styrofoam, they can be paper cups, they can be plastic solo cups, whatever your choice. Go get them, one minute, 60 seconds, go. Hey, we're back with a cup challenge during game time. I have my cup stacked up in a pyramid shape. So should you. All right, so I hope that you have five on the bottom, four, three, two, one. And when I say on your mark, get set, go, we're gonna go and see who can complete bringing them all down, setting them all back up again. All right, I challenge you. Are you up for it? Here we go. On your mark, get set, wait, go. I don't know where you are with your cup challenge, but I'm trying to do my best. I'm putting on my, ah. Uh, if they fall, you just have to pick them back up and make sure that they work. Oh, that's gonna cost me right there. Probably did, some of you. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I hope that you are having as much trouble as I am right now, because that's eh, done. So, did you beat me? 
Okay, so if you did, congratulations. However, if you didn't, speed it up because this time I'm gonna put a little bit more effort into it. So are you ready? Okay, here we go. On your mark, get set, and feed it. Okay, go! And down we go, down we go, now we're gonna have to stack them all up. Now you have to stack them all back up. Just in order, there's four, there's five. Oh my goodness, I'm getting out of, oh no, this is not good. This is not good, oh, I'm double stacking. Come on, Kev, come on. Come on, you can put them up, you can put them together. Come on, 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 come on. And done. Ah, oh, so I hope you beat me that time. Maybe if you did, eh, maybe you did. But stack them back up. Are you ready? One last round, here we go. On your mark, get set, wait. Let mom or dad do it right now. Come on, moms and dads, get in on the game. We're challenging each other here. So I want to see who can beat me in the cup challenge, all right? This time I'll put some, put some liggity split on it, all right? So here we go. On your mark, parents, go! All right, so here we go. Down, 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 stack, 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 stack. Now we got to pick them all apart. I don't stack right there. That's not going to work. So here we go. Here we go. Come on, 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 come on. Now, if you're going along with me and you're beating me right now, congratulations. If you're not, you should have done. And that is game time. Beautiful out here. You know what? I, I see all this and it makes me just the nature of everything, right? Um, just the beauty of it. And what? I mean, look at this water and stuff. This is awesome, man. It's beautiful. It's incredible. What is that? Where? Right here. I don't know. Oh, dang, look like at that. You know what that is? What? It's a rock, but look a at rock. it. Dude. Look yeah. at it. Isn't that cool? There's got to be some more around here. Hold, hold that. All hold right. that. All right. Got to be some more. It's oh, shiny. Oh, look, 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 look. Ooh, I like we that We may have one. found something. That one's really nice. That's like a, man, that's like a treasure, isn't you it? You think it's worth some money? It's really shiny. Anything shiny's gotta be worth something, right? I don't know. I guess. You know what? I, I'm sitting there's gotta be more of these pieces around. Hmm. So, check. Ooh, hey, 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 look. You found it? Found one? Look at this. Look at this, we've hit a jackpot. Ooh, look at that. You know what? It reminds me of a, yeah. you know, of our hike? It's yes. just like our life and journey. Mm -hmm. when, when we're on our journey, uh, there's a lot of things along in life that we can find nuggets of treasure. It reminds me in our life that there's going to be a lot of cool things along the way that we can celebrate over. And this is some of it. You know what? Uh huh. I bet there's some other things we can find around here. Guess what? It's like God's Word, too. Every time you get in the Word, you find these nuggets that are incredibly valuable. Isn't Many that awesome? treasures. Many yeah. treasures. I like that. Many treasures. What? Oh, well, hey. Uh, well, thank you for joining us on our hike. We're back and uh, we're going to take a few minutes and look around here, see what we can find. This is incredible, incredible stuff. So while we're doing that, hey, check out this song. Oh. Psalm 119, 18. Yeah.
Psalm 119.18. So, you know where we are? I have no clue. Man, we got turned around someplace. I don't know. I, I thought I, you had a compass. I thought you knew where we were going. Not without the compass. You didn't bring the compass? No. How come you didn't bring the compass? You said you would bring it. I did. And I would bring the map. Uh, or did you say you were going to bring the map and I was going to bring the compass? Okay, look, here's what we need to do. Let's find out where we are. Let's backtrack a little bit, all right? Uh, I'm going to go this way. Okay. Uh -huh. You go this way, and let's backtrack and see if we can find out where we are. Okay? All, all right. right, let's try it. I went my way, you said go that way. Okay, all right, so here's the plan. We're lost, okay? Yeah, So obviously. Let's figure this out. Uh, before we get any further. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Well, me too. All right, so let let's me go ahead and just lay my backpack down. Yeah. And I've got a, a tablecloth. Oh, a table, you brought yeah. a tablecloth? Yes, table I sure cloth. did. So That's uh, how we'll I like go ahead and eat. lay it down and we can put the foot. Yeah, and then I can take my app. What? what? I got some apples. David. Uh-huh. That's not a tablecloth. Yeah, it's a tablecloth. David. Look at that. No, it's a map. You brought the map. Are you kidding me? You've had the map all this time? Ah. Uh, I mean, now we know we can find out where we are. Let's see. Here's um, here's the foothills. But, okay. Oh, that's where we saw the snake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, close to the village. That's where we just found the rocks a few moments yeah. ago. So where we Oh, but, we should be here. We should be here. So if we know where we are, we know where we're going. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I think so, we can make it. You know what? Oh, it reminds me of the Bible too. Because today the big idea is the power of God's word. And God's word is powerful because it directs us and guides us and leads us. Like a map. L like a map. <laughs> You're exactly yeah, right. Yeah, like a map. So this map tells us where we're going. God's word tells us where we're going. He will guide us and lead us. Jeremiah 29, 11 simply says that God has a plan for us, not to harm us, but to give us a hope and a future. Dude, that's awesome. So we can make it back home before lunch. Yeah. Ooh, did you eat all the biscuits before we left? Yeah. Here, take the map. We're gonna, we gotta get out of here. You ready to go? Uh, let's go. All right, let's go. So the big idea today is the power of God's word. So I want you to take about 15 seconds and go grab your Bible. If you don't have yours, grab mom or dad's. All right, so do that and we'll be right back. What has the power to help us with our words? What has the power to break chains? What has the power to keep our focus? The power of God's word. You have your Bible, I have mine. You know, whenever I read the scriptures, I remember a lot of great stories like David and Goliath, uh, the walls of Jericho with Joshua, and so many more. You know what, whenever I read God's word, it really does something to me on the inside. In fact, Psalm 119 says, I've hidden your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. If we don't know how to do things, then we keep repeating the same thing over and over. So God wants us to know from his word, the power that is in within his word. This is just not an ordinary book. No, it's a book of life. It's how we live, it's what we believe. So today, you have your Bible, I have mine. Let's open it up, shall we? Just open it up anywhere within the pages of your Bible and you will find that within those pages, whoa! Did you just see something in your Bible? Did you see something in my Bible? You, you did? What, what, what was it? Okay, okay. Oh, let's try this again, okay? So go ahead, open your Bible. 
Okay, it's safe to do. Okay, so as we're talking, no! Did it just happen to yours? Guess what? Whenever you read God's word, oh, the fire of the Lord burns inside of us and it burns out the impurities and it burns out all the nasty stuff that doesn't need to be there called sin. God tells us and instructs us in his word how to live. And when you open up those pages, oh, his word is like a fire. It just burns deep within us and gives us life. So today, knowing God's word, reading God's word, taking it inside of us, there's life within those pages. So take your word, the power of God's word. Our big idea today says that all scripture, God's word is God breathed and it's good for training. So when we need to get in shape, our spiritual shape, whether it's uh, uh, activating our faith, learning how to treat people with respect, loving other people, all of that's training. We know what to do. Then there's rebuking. No one likes to be rebuked. That means getting on to. So just like mom and dad, when you get in trouble, they have to rebuke you. They have to kind of get on to you to get you in line. So the same thing with God's word. God's word teaches us things that we should do and should not do. It's also there for correcting. It's not just for getting on to us, but showing us what we need to do to be able to do the right thing and to obey God. So that's for correction. And then finally we have teaching. We have to be taught what's right. No one had to tell you how to tell a story or tell you something that doesn't belong to you. That's that old human nature that we have. No one has to teach you that. But we do have to teach each other. And just as children, God teaches us the right things to do. So allow God's word to teach you, to correct you, to rebuke you, and to train you in righteousness. And when you do, oh my goodness, what a wonderful plan has God for you. Oh, and it will set your life ablaze. Uh, woo, I see it from here where we are. Yes. Man, that, that was an awesome trail. It was, yeah, definitely. Mean, hiking at its best, right? Yes. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Oh, Welcome. and hey, thanks for joining us here at Kid First TV. I want to invite you back next week for a new episode, 10 o'clock a.m. Friday morning. So don't miss it. Until then, may God bless you and have a wonderful day.